QuickBooks Desktop 2023 Export to Excel Profit and Loss or Income Statement Reports. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in QuickBooks Desktop Sample Rock Castle Construction Practice File provided by QuickBooks going through the setup process we do every time. Maximizing the homepage to the gray area, going to the view drop down. Noted we got the hide icon bar and open windows checked off. Open windows open on the left hand side. We're not going to be opening up the profit and loss and income statement the way we normally do because we're going to be going into the memorized reports we set up in a prior presentation. If you don't have those memorized reports, that's okay. You can follow along and open up your own reports like standard income statement or profit and loss reports. To get to those reports, we're going to go to the reports drop down. You can find the memorized reports either here organized by category we put our reports under the client month and reports or we can go into the report center as we will do now maximize the report center because for some reason it always unmaximizes and it's annoying but it is what it is we're going to go to the memorize tab i like to see it by list so i'm going to go to the list format and we put our category together imagining that we have a month in or our clients that we want to organize the reports that we're going to make for this particular client for this bookkeeping client and we want to organize those reports in the memorized area we formatted them for our client we numbered them so that every month we can generate a similar set of reports and organize them as easily as possible now if you don't have this you can go through the kind of same kind of process by just opening up some of your own reports, profit and loss reports, and we'll practice exporting them to Excel. The thing is, keep in mind that the end result is that we would like to provide this, I'm gonna minimize this, to our clients in such a way that it's as easy for them to organize as possible. The, the formatting of what we provide is gonna be as important as the information that is being provided. Oftentimes the person receiving the information and not knowing <laughs> exactly what you know the accounting stuff is telling them, but so that the neatness of it can at least give them the signal, hey, look, we're, we're being organized, we're being complete here, and we're gonna be helping you out when you need it, possibly most likely at your end tax time. So in any case, we're, we're then exporting this to our folder. So we put them in our folder in terms of a PDF file that we can then zip. Now we're going to export them to Excel, not because we would normally give the Excel file to a client unless they want it in that format, but because we would like to then use the Excel and a PDF printer, such as a cute PDF printer, which I believe you can get for free. We're not advertising for them. That's just the PDF printer we use. Then you can make one PDF file with all the reports on it making it nice to attach one file to like an email and it could be nice to do some added formatting in that way as well so that's what we're going to be practicing here if we go back to excel we've been doing all the balance sheet reports in the prior section now we're on the income statement report starting on the income statement summary i'm going to run that report if you don't have this report in memorized reports you could just open up reports profit and loss and a, a normal profit and loss and then we ex we uh, collapsed the rows so it's going to be a shorter type of reports because we don't have the expanded uh, rows for this the sub accounts so then we're going to be exporting this now this time we're exporting to a worksheet that we have already set up or a workbook we have already set up it's a little bit tricky here because you would think the first thing they would ask you is whether or not you want to put it in an existing or current workbook file 
But no, they ask you first whether you want to put it into a new worksheet, which is actually the sheets within the workbook. So we do want a new worksheet, but we're going to be putting it into an existing workbook, which is kind of like similar to an, a Word document. So then I'm going to go to the browse up top. We're going to find where we want it. So we're going to say it's going to be here. That's the one. And I'm going to say, OK, let's go ahead and export. It should open it up and export to Excel. Now, also, just before I get too much further, just note you got to be careful on the settings, which we set up in the prior presentations. So when you're exporting this item, I'm just going to go there one more time. Look at the options and you'll recall that we uncheck the freeze panes is going to be a key one that you want to be aware of and we auto we also had something where it's going to where it's going to give you a uh, include quickbooks export guide so i'm going to remove that one as well so we don't have that happening every time otherwise you're going to deal with split panes and you got to delete an extra tab so just keep that in mind so we're going to go back on over and so here is our excel worksheet i'm going to pull this one to the right just going to grab it left clicking on it pull it to the end so it is in the order that we want i typically check by going to the second view tab which is the page layout view to see the header income statement summary and then back to the first tab i'm going to double click on the tab down here to rename it i'm going to call it is income statement summary or just set sum like that let's keep it at that we could do added formatting up top if we choose to do more formatting uh, to it while we're here like deleting the account numbers or something like that uh, and that's some of the added stuff that you can do in excel for the formatting but for now i'm just going to make sure that it fits on one page wide so that we can practice printing everything out on one pdf file also note when you export to excel there's multiple reasons you might do it you might do it because you want to create one pdf file like we are or you might want to add more formatting to the report or you might be using the report as a baseline to do other projections possibly budgeting out into the future so then i'm going to go to the file tab just to check it out if we go to the print option then we, we're printing it but i'm going to print it to a cute pdf printer which i believe you could find for free if you just google it or use your favorite search engine i believe it is a, a free thing and then it only shows one tab and we're going to change that to the entire workbook so that now we have 12 pages and we can scroll through it and hopefully provide everything onto one PDF file in this way. Note the formatting is a little bit different here because it's going to left align and it squishes things up close to the title a little bit because of the formatting of Excel. You can fix that. You can go through and format it and try to center it more and align it a little bit differently if you so choose. We're not going to get into the detail of that right now, just noting that for you. I'm going to close this back out. We'll do this with the other reports as well. So if I go back on over, close out report number seven and go to report number eight. So here's the standard income statement. I'm going to go to the Excel up top. We're going to create a new worksheet. Obviously, you need Excel in order to do this. So if you don't have Excel, it's not going to export to Excel. I'm going to go to an existing workbook. I'm going to browse. That's the one just to check it. That's the one we want. I don't want it going to the wrong place. Don't want it going to the wrong Excel file because that gets messed up, that's messy. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that by the left click and drag it to the right, and then check the name on it by going to the page layout view. So that's the income statement standard. Back to the first tab, double click on it. If you keep the name P&L, you might call it P&L, right? But I'm, I'm gonna say income statement standard. Let's just say ST. It fits on one page wide. That's all I really care about right now. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and close this out and save it and do the next one. We're on number eight, no, number nine, number nine. So this one might be a little bit long, a little bit large. So we might have to do some formatting. Let's see if that is indeed the case. Create a new worksheet. And then we're going to go to an existing workbook. I'm just going to assume it's going to the right place. We're going to live dangerously here. I'm not even going to check it. That's what I, that's what I'm talking about. I, I, that's the devil may care attitude that I run with, whatever. So we're going to take this sheet and drag it to the right now. And then it totally went to the right place too. The, the, the gamble paid off. And then check it. If I go to the second tab, this is income statement by quarter. Let's double click over here. 
I'm going to say income statement QT or something like that. Now, it's, it's not fitting one page wide. So the series of options we're going to go through then are going to be, well, could I first squish it together a little bit so that it fits on one page wide? If that doesn't work, then I want to change the orientation typically from this to landscape. If both of those are not going to be something that works, then when I print it, I might go to the printing options and try to change the printing options to scale it to fit columns uh, to one page. So they fit all the columns on one page. I'm not really worried about two pages long on the report. I'm worried about not fitting on one page wide because I don't want to have to tape the reports together. And the reason I want that as a last resort because, is because it changes the size of the font, which I don't want to do. I would like the font to be standardized through the whole report. So let's see if we can, we could try to make this a little bit skinnier. It doesn't look like we got much room there. Maybe I can remove this A column because I don't really need that. So I could go through here and say, what is in that A column? Like nothing, it's just this one total. So I can remove that. I can move that over here and just like, let's delete that A column. Right click, right click on it and just delete it. And we could we could do some more of that. Like I could try to, try to uh, format this with indentations instead of using separate columns like this but it doesn't look like we're gonna get there this way. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna to have to maybe change the orientation. Now, when you change the orientation, note that when you print it out, that means you're gonna have one of the papers that are gonna, that you can't, really, you can't really staple it together with it oriented the other way, and that becomes an issue. But when you, when you give it to someone digitally, then typically the PDF files actually orient it kind of vertically, so it's not as big of a problem if it's oriented uh, the, the other way, if someone's going to watch it or read it or open it digitally, because it'll still open okay, typically, and it fits a one page wide, and we didn't have to change the size of the font or anything like that, and squish everything together. So we'll stick with that for now. Closing this back out, let's do another one. And that was number, that was the QT one. Let's do, we're on this one, number 10, I think. Let's check that one out. So this is the income statement comparative. We're gonna to have to do a similar process, I would expect in the formatting. Let's send it to Excel, sending information. Uh, hold on, that's an email. I don't wanna email it. It's not what I'm trying to do here. We're gonna to go to an existing one. Again, I'm not even gonna check it because I know it's going to the right place. It's gonna to go to the Excel. I'm not gonna waste my second by checking on that. And I'm gonna take this and drag it to the right and then check the page layout. It's not fitting on one page wide, and but the title is there. So the title is Income Statement Month Comparison. So I'm gonna double click here, IS month, let's say. And then I'm gonna say, okay, what can we do with this one? Let's get rid of column A again by just moving whatever's in column A to here because I'm trying to fit it on one page wide and right click and delete column A, get out of here, column A. And then it seems like this last column is wider than it needs to be. So you could, we could try to say, maybe I want these all uniform, but maybe they can be thinner than this, right? Maybe I can do, no, that's too thin. Something like that. Okay, the, I didn't even have to landscape that one. Didn't even have to landscape it. So, um, wait a second. Let's take all of them. And this one needs to be a little wider but I want them all uniform. I want them all the same width. Okay, that looks pretty good. Fits on one page wide, except this is out. What happened here? Oh, I could try to wrap the text maybe. That's not gonna work. Well, maybe it will work. I could go up top and say format. Let's wrap the text, wrap the text. So maybe that's okay. How about that? How about it? That's not bad. Let's keep it at that. So I'll save that, close it out, and then close this one. And we're on one more, number 11. Number 11. So this is the month compared to the prior year. So let's export that one. Similar kind of comparative formatting. You would expect similar stuff needs to be done. Let's export it because I know it's going to the right Excel file at this point. Everything's dialed in. We're gonna put our cursor on it, drag it to the right, 
check it in the page layout view doesn't fit on one page double click income statement with the prior year comparison or something and then we'll do the same thing let's get rid of column a column a i'm gonna this time i'm gonna say control x to cut it control x and then control v to paste it and then just delete column a get out of here column a if I move, someone will just take my place, and there it is, another A took its place, whatever. Let's see if we can squish these together like we did last time. Can I squish these? Can we squish these together enough? Make them squishy. And then we'll do a wrapping of the text up here, home tab, and wrap the text. I'll wrap the text like a wrapper and then that looks good. So there it is. So now if I wanted to use this to export all of the stuff on one file, we could do more formatting to it, but if I wanna export everything on one file, I can go to the file tab on it, print it. I'm gonna use the cute PDF printer, which I believe is free. You could find it and, and download it if you so choose. I'm not advertising them or anything, but that's what we use here. And then we, we want to say we want to have the whole entire workbook so now we got 21 pages on this thing notice it's still kind of left aligned we could do some more formatting we could make it not so squished up to, to the header here and so on but we're not going to do that now <laughs> so here it is here's the balance sheet comparative balance sheet then scrolling through and then we get to the income statement reports everything looks like it's fitting on one page there's nothing that's that's like got two pages wide that's making me see this one doesn't have the total on the next page. That would be a problem. I believe this is the one that we oriented landscape. So now it's landscape, but still will be visually right side up. If you had to staple it, however, to a report after printing it, then you got a problem because you got to think about how you're going to orient that. And so there's all our income statement reports. They look good. Let's go ahead and print it as a cute PDF file. Print it. And then I'm going to put it I'm gonna put it uh, over here and I'm gonna replace this one because this is the old one and this is the new one. Save it and let's just check it out, make sure it did what we would expect it to do. And so there's our file, let's open it up and admire it. Let's open it up and admire it. So there's our balance sheet we did last time. And then we've got a balance sheet we did last time and you can see all these reports, someone can open them up and have them in the one file. So here's our comparative reports, comparative reports down to the income statement reports at some point, almost to the income statement reports, still balance sheet reports. We got lots of reports. We got lots income statement reports. Here's the income statement. I want to look at that one. See this one, see how it switched from, from portrait to landscape, but it's still presenting it vertically. So it's still still good. It's still good and it's got the same size text and stuff and stuff. So it doesn't look ugly that way. So we're gonna close it back out. So now we can provide this to somebody, either giving them all the reports in one folder, attaching eleven attachments, or to an email, or we can zip this to one thing so that we can give it to them in a zipped file we can provide it to them on a cloud drive or we can use excel to then uh, make a pdf file with all of them on one file these are our options to try to present this as nicely as possible to whoever we're presenting to remembering that the presentation for bookkeepers typically is at least half the battle not that we're fighting anyone we're trying we're trying to help actually this is a helpful thing but you know the analogies gi joe it's gi joe so there it is